Welcome to day 66. Today, running. Now a lot of people say, I don't like to run. My knees hurt, my back hurts, all these excuses for why they don't run. That's okay. If you don't want to run, you got to be a walker. You got your choice. Be a runner or be a walker. If you're not a runner or a walker, you're probably going to get older faster than you want to get older. Look at me. No makeup. I'm 60 years old. I got tons of energy and I think it's because of exercise. I chose to run and I probably don't run, I actually jog. Now, the most important run for me is tomorrow. I never want to do anything today that's going to hurt me from being able to run tomorrow. So when I go out to run, jog, for all you really techie professional types that have to just have everything just right, when I go out to jog, I take my Garmin watch now. Now you can, and we're going to show you how this tracks my runs and it shows where I run, the elevation, it is so cool. I wish I'd have had this when I started running over 34 years ago. I would have all my runs. My runs in Germany, Hawaii, Alaska, Israel, Africa, South America. I would have all kinds of runs that I've done and I'd have a, I'd have a record of it. So let's go back to the basics. Zig Ziglar taught me the way to run. You buy running clothes. Now you can't see, but I got on running shorts, I got on running shoes and running socks, and I got this watch. This is kind of a little bit high sophisticated, but you push one button to start it and one button to stop it. It's pretty simple. Zig Ziglar said, look like a runner. So I got running clothes, I look like a runner. He said, put your running clothes on, get up in the morning and run down to the mailbox. Run to the mailbox, which is about 50 yards. So I did that. This house I was living in had a mailbox on it on the street. I got up, I put my running clothes on, I ran to the mailbox. The next day I ran to the neighbor's mailbox. The next day I ran to the neighbor's neighbor's mailbox. And before long I was up to a quarter of a mile. Not very far, but at least I was doing a quarter of a mile. Finally I got up to a mile. If you can run a mile, you can run two. And if you can run two, you can run four. If you can run four, you can run eight. So I just kind of built up to now I can run 236 miles. Not all at once. I ran 30 miles a day for eight days. So I ran 236 miles. I ran from Kansas to Texas. People that have self-esteem do esteemable things. Running, you can be really bad at it and you can work up. And if you can't run non-stop, run and walk. But at least run for 20 to 30 minutes four times a week. I'm an overachiever. I do five five times a week I run. On Saturday mornings I run all the way around Lake Hefner, a little over nine miles. Today I'm only going to run I think three or four miles. It is 98 degrees outside so it's kind of toasty but I'm going to run anyway. And if I feel like I'm dehydrated, if all of a sudden I quit perspiring, I'm going to stop and get some water. But since I'm running just three laps I won't get that hot. There is no such thing as bad weather. There is bad clothing. So I always want to dress appropriately. Now when you're running out in this kind of heat, you want to have clothes on to protect you from the sun so that you don't get overheated. When it's really, really cold, I wear really, really warm clothing. But I don't want to get too warm. I make sure that I got some way to ventilate as I'm running in the wintertime. I have seen so many great places throughout the world because I'm a runner. And when I go to a party and people are talking, I'm not going to have to talk about sports heroes. I'm 60 and I'm still running. I get to talk about my own experiences instead of talking about a football player that threw a great pass or a basketball player that didn't get the hoop or a referee that call, called a bad shot. I never miss a day. Whenever the weather is, whatever the weather is, I get out there and experience it. I used to wake up at 2.30 in the afternoon and not do any exercise and not do any running and not even see the sun. I'd stay in the house till it got dark. Now I get up and I go experience the day. I generally have run before most people get up in the morning. On Saturday I get up at 6 and run. On Sunday I run at 6. I do 240 push-ups, but I don't have a gym membership. Oh no, I'm saving all that money and I don't have to drive to the gymnasium. I don't have a trainer either. If you're not running, please, please, please consider walking. 20 to 30 minutes, especially if you're on antidepressants. If you're taking antidepressants 
and your doctor doesn't want to know about your exercise program, get another doctor. Get another doctor. Because if you're exercising, you might not need to take antidepressants. I'm not saying you will get off antidepressants, but I'm saying you got a much better chance if you exercise. You won't have to take antidepressants, and your moods won't be going like this all the time, and you'll save a lot of money, and you'll be free from the, the drugs. Thank you for watching today. Please subscribe and share this channel with other people. I'm not just telling you what I've read from books, and I'm not just telling you what I've learned from others. I'm telling you what is working in my life and what actions I'm taking. If I didn't go running today, I'd be a hypocrite. And I don't want to be a hypocrite. I want to be who I am. I want to be real. So if you're out and about in Northwest Oklahoma City on Monday, I'm over at the park at 36th and Rockwell running three laps. Thank you very much.